My name is Ben Mergen. So we milk about 50 cows, give or take. Uh, got a beef herd of about 25 cow-calf pairs. I uh, run just shy of 500 acres. Um, some of it to feed the cows, and the rest is cash crop. Corn, soybeans, uh, spring mint once in a while, and then some alfalfa. Uh, the first project I got started on was a CSP contract, Conservation Stewardship Program. And then from there, I kind of got signed up with uh, Bacchus Lake Watershed, or the All Acres for Our Water, for some other cover crops. I think this year I'll be putting in a minimum of 90 acres, but I'm hoping um, to get at least half my ground covered in cover crops, if not three quarter. The ESMC is trying to bring um, farmers or producers who have the carbon credits and linking them with buyers of, I believe it's mostly companies who are trying to go carbon neutral and they can't do it on their own. Well, they did come out and take soil samples, uh, like a, kind of like a grid sample of a couple fields so we have a baseline of where to start with our carbon in the in the ground and then they'll come back in five years and compare the practices that have been done on that field with um, what kind of carbon response we got so then there's a way to like quantify how much carbon has been captured and how much is available to sell. Part of the way of um, getting a nitro or a carbon credit is through cover crops um, and reduced till or no till and that type of thing so that's kind of where I fit in with that. It's kind of a benefit to cover crops along with um, nitrogen scavenging and nutrient scavenging, um, keeping something living in the soil and erosion control. Uh, it's just another aspect um, of cover crops that maybe will bring a profit around is selling a, a carbon credit down the road.